I'm gonna talk back. I got a lot to say. You're petty. You watched all this and now you're petty. Like that's that's real petty. First and foremost, excuse my background. It's a mess. Okay. That's all y'all need to know. It's a mess. I'm, I'm working on some things, but I just wanted to come to y'all today and literally just talk. I don't have nobody else to talk to. So I'm like, why not talk to my, um, you know, YouTube family and let y'all get to know the more personal side of me. So, um, I'm gonna just do my makeup. Uh, it's more like a get ready with me chit chat really not going nowhere just bored and you know want to get some things off my chest so um let me see let me do my eyebrows but um so 2020 has just been a mess okay i don't know how people's mentals are what's going on and um it's just pretty sad like being with this corona stuff for all these months and you know it's like having tragedies after tragedies i just you know it's hard to keep your head on straight when there's so many other things going on in the world so for instance i'm gonna try not to get emotional but um one of my good friends from school I'm not going to mention his name for privacy reasons, but um, my best friend, she calls me early this morning and, you know, got this like heartfelt message. Excuse me. Long story short, to tell me that my buddy died, like he got shot. Somebody killed this man, and um, you know I was devastated. I'm I'm real devastated, but you know, it's sad to say, but I'm from Chicago, and like, I know everybody take death differently, but it's kind of like, I don't expect death, but when it does come, and it's people that's my age, it's like, damn, another one, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, I'm hurt. I cried. I you know, had my moments up. We get to look at those pictures and remember all of these memories from school. You know, all the fun times we had. But it's like, it's still shocking, but it's not a shock. Like, I literally cut on the TV every day. And there's so many people that's getting shot and killed. And way too many more times than often. I know these people. I got friends that I've lost. You know, people when when I was young, man, I'm still young. I'm only 25, 25 years old, and I could write on. I I can't even count on my fingers. There's way, way, way more people that I know personally, like have relationships with, that I've lost to gun violence and you know these streets. The streets are not safe for anybody, but it's just like it's so messed up that this the world we living in. And then on top of that, it's like. You got all these other problems in life. You know, people losing their mind being in the house. Me, I'm people, y'all. I'm losing my mind. Like, this quarantine stuff, I don't like it. I wish they hurry up and find a cure. I want to be naive and go with the hype and say it's politics, but I really don't know. I'm not a doctor, you know, but I'm just ready for all this stuff to be over with, get back to life. I'm a travel type of person. I like to go places. I like to move. I'm real adventurous. And, you know, I want to do things. I haven't been on a trip since December. It is now August. Eight months I've been stuck in Chicago. Girl, 
eight months I've been stuck in Chicago and quite frankly, I'm over it. Um, yeah, I'm over it. I haven't been on a trip. Can't visit nowhere. Everything on lockdown. Restaurants, like we just started being able to go outside. Basically, life is a mess. But quarantine has been like, it's been a blessing and it's been a burden. I'm going to start with the blessings. So, with quarantine, being stuck in the house, I've had a lot of time to be around my family. Now, if you know me personally, you know me and my family, we super tight, okay? Like, we together every day. You see one sister, you see the other one. I'm always with my mama and daddy. They, my parents are still together, you know. Everything is good at our household, but like everybody works. So now that we can't go to work and it's remote, we all, you know, close together. Blessing. Cherish your family. Love them all while they're here. You know, do fun things. Things we took for granted while we was at work. Like, dad, we didn't even know we could have this much fun together. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. But it's hard talking while doing my eyebrows. Cause honestly, they looking them real jacked up, but you know, for video purposes, I'm gonna make it work. But yeah, it's been a blessing to just be in the house with your family. Um, what else? Me and all my sisters been you putting on our thinking cap, you know, started some brand. My older sister T started doing her facials, you know, got her a little sweet. If y'all in the Chicago area need a facial, hit up Feel Good Facials. <laughs> Putting in that free promo. You welcome, T. My baby sis, she started her little edge control line. She's selling edge control and bonnets. Hit up EA Slays. <laughs> and then you have me. I, um, I've been talking for a long time, like years. I've always loved sunglasses, so I finally had the time to do my research, start my sunglass line, and, you know, sell everything. Y'all want to buy anything, it's Murder Frames with two A's, and Frames is spelled with a Z. I'll leave all our contact stuff and our Instagrams below. But besides the fact, you know, we've been getting blessed, saving some money, can't really shop because ain't nowhere to go, you know. I've been, um trying to get healthy i got a trainer so he had me working out you know he be on my heels i post up on instagram if i'm going out with my friend he like mel you know you got a two drink limit i don't want to see nothing else let it be straight look like he on me and you know i'm doing good i'm trying to be um what's the word i'm looking for i'm trying to be um dedicated motivated focused you know all that good old stuff and um yeah, it's working. August, I'm finna go hard. I told myself, yeah, no more uh, fast food this month. I don't want to be in nobody's drive-through. <laughs> I don't want to be in nobody's drive-through. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put that stuff in my body because I said I want to be healthy. You know, we had we passed the halfway mark of the year, and I've been all capped just talking. You know, but I, I'm I'm tired of just talking, and I'm trying to actually stay committed to something. So, yeah, plenty more blessings, plenty more opportunities, plenty more good things been happening. But on the other side, it's been some bad. Besides the whole, you know, losing people and, you know, I'm losing my mind. Let's say that. I'm not one to be in the house. I don't like being in the house. I live by myself. I get lonely. Okay, that's why I'm always with my family. I get real lonely, okay? And um, I just feel like this whole working from home thing is really frustrating because I have a, a boss that's very like, she micromanages, pisses me out. Y'all, I'm young and like real carefree, but I'm very like career driven and oriented. I, I'm a, a real professional, you know, working the a nice paying job. I'm an accountant. You know, it's real. This is a career. This ain't no job where I just be like, you know, it is what it is. Because normally me would have been like, you know what? Sorry, I'm not following wrong. But, um, like I was saying, 
normal me would be like, you know what? Forget that job. Forget that boss. You know, my personality, all my Sagittarius out there, let me know if y'all can relate or if I'm just crazy. But my personality is very, like, impulsive. If I feel some type of way or, you know, something ain't to my liking, I'm very blunt with speaking up. And I make decisions based on feeling, like gut feelings. I'm big on go with your first man, you know, stuff like that. So whenever I feel, what's the word? Whenever I feel some type of way, basically, you know, I, I remove myself from situations that make me unhappy. I don't like to be in a situation where I feel like I'm stuck. And then as far as working, oh, Jesus, that's too bright. <laughs> as far as working, I'm not one to take authority well. I don't like authority. I know y'all going to beat me up in the comments. I mean, you can't have a job without some authority, but what the heck? I feel like... We are all grown working individuals. Let people do their job, you know. I don't feel like you have to check in with me every hour. What's going on? What you doing? You know, stuff like that pisses me off really bad. And I'm at that point where I'm like, do I really need this job, you know? My man telling me, of course, Melissa, you need the job. You got bills. You got rent. You got a car note. You got all these grown-up responsibilities and stuff that you really didn't want but you got you know then the other half of me saying melissa you're young you're smart you got two degrees you know do your shit sis you know follow your heart and and that's what i'm at that point like i feel like my mental state is being affected by this quarantine like i don't some days i feel like i'm depressed and y'all, it's okay to talk about it. Like I tell my mom, I tell my friends, my daddy, all that. Like I tell them when I when something ain't right in my mind, you know, because I don't ever want to get to that point where I'm like, okay, I need, you know, like when it's too deep, I feel like you should always talk about stuff. And I'm one to be, like I said, I'm very blunt. I talk about things when I feel some type of way. So if I ever feel like my health, uh, you know, my mind is real foggy up there i let somebody know you know i need some other insight people see things in you that you don't see in yourself people could give you better judgment better you know advice and different paths to choose better than me just saying okay melissa stop everything you know i gotta be rational about situations and that's why i need other people because sometimes my gut instinct is not the most rational decision and it's okay you know but more of the story with that mental thing. I talk. I ask, like, you know, is this a sign of depression? I'm at the point where every day I'm like, I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to quit my job. Then I'm just like, okay, I want to be rich, though. What you going to do? Like, it's so many outside things going on, and I feel like I'm overwhelmed. Like, I'm in my... Why did I put this in my nose? I'm in my last little home run stretch of grad school, and school was just overwhelming, y'all. Like, my life is literally no disconnect. I'm literally 9 to 5, 9 to five thirty on my computer for work, working remotely, okay? Then we got 6 to 9, I'm on school doing Zoom learning, everything, e-learning that. 9 to 10, while I still fresh in my mind, while I got some interest, I'm doing my homework. Picture that, y'all. Literally on the computer, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Working. My eyes playing tricks on me. I don't have a social life anymore. There's nowhere to go. I'm stuck in the house. I can't relax and unwind on a, somebody's beach. Every beach clothes. Got to wear masks. I can't breathe. Like, it's just, it's getting to me, you know? And I got to the point where I was like, okay, well, maybe you should quit your job. You know, I've had some people say, Maybe just focus on school right now. You know, you got a couple more months left. You almost done, but don't stress yourself out. Like, I'll literally be stressed trying to make deadlines. You know, I don't know if anybody out there in accounting, but it's like everything is so time sensitive. So you can't really work, you know, at your own pace. Everything is kind of like important. Everything is definitely important, but it's like you on a certain schedule. You know, then you got school, you got deadlines. I got homework to do, all this extra stuff. It's just... It's a lot, y'all. And I'm just like, okay, what can I do? Now, me, 
I um got a lot of hustles, y'all. I'm 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 like I said, I'm 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 very move on instinct and stuff. So if I ever like something, I learn it, I master it, I move on to the next thing, y'all. I literally play like three instruments. <laughs> I do hair, I do makeup, I'm in this YouTube stuff trying to get into it, okay? I got a massage table back here. I'm trying to learn how to do massages. I got a lash kit over here. I'm trying to learn lashes. Like it's I, I love learning, but I feel like when I master stuff, I be wanting to move on. More of the story. If I quit my job, I got other hustles to fall back on. At the end of the day, I'm a female. I don't know what y'all parents told y'all, but mine told me as long as I got ain't no reason I should be broke, okay? Forget even trying to use that to my advantage. But I, I'm very smart. I'm a hustler. You know, I'm a city girl. It, it's many. I got street smarts. I got, you know, all this good old stuff. Okay. But, yeah, it, it's just, I don't know what to do in my life. And then, I be having these moments, too. Like I say, I live by myself. And then I'm all, all like, Sometimes I'll be like all sad and depressed about stuff, but I don't know why it just overcome me. Then I'll be thinking like, Melissa, you lonely too? Like, I'm in the career by myself. Granted, my friends come over, my family come over, everybody check on me. And I'm not bored. Like, I'm a fun party going. I be out kicking and talking. You know, I do my thing. But at the end of the night, I'm sleeping by myself. Not like that's important, but like, it's just like, dig. Now... Again, 25 years old, no rush for love, no rush for none of this. But every girl want to be, you know, having something going on. But yeah, I ain't been able to be outside, talk to nobody, meet new people, male or female. Life just getting to me, but you know, enough with the sap stuff, enough with this, because I ain't sad, y'all. I don't think I'm no sad ass, you know, desperate, miserable type of girl. That ain't even me. I'm just talking because I got a mouth, honestly. But yeah, I want to know. Let's have a little talk, talk, talk in the comments, you know. What's going on with y'all? How do y'all deal with like y'all 20s and we're in this rough place? Like, my thing is, I don't compare myself to nobody. Everybody goes at their own pace. But it's just like, the internet be having so much influence on you. You know, you see... Why do I keep burping? You see other little 25-year-olds. And you know, they doing thing. And you know how the kids be saying, like, relationship goals, best friend goals. Stuff like that, you know. And then you got yourself. And you just be out here like... I'm living. I'm doing my thing. You know, how do y'all deal with this? Um, what I want to do to my face, y'all? I don't know what the heck going on. I feel ashy and cakey on this camera. I look like I'm one of them, um, what you call them, Mexican uh, mummies. Dia de los Murdos. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. On the pictures, they got the skull. Anyways. I'm ashy. Okay. But, um, yeah. How do y'all deal with being alone, my single ladies? What do y'all do in y'all spare time? Give me some tips, you know? Because your girl is lonely. I have fun when I'm outside and I'm doing my thing, but at nighttime, I be getting real lonely. I be trying to, I be, like, real tempted to pick up my phone and talk to people I ain't got no business talking to, and I be putting it down. And I'm like, nah, I would rather not. I just realized I ain't do no eyeshadow. That's what's missing. That's why I look like this. But yeah. Um, besides that, life is good. Minus Corona. Minus the boy problems. <laughs> Minus me losing my mind. I don't know what to do, y'all. So, leave some advice and tips about... What exactly it is that I need? What do you suggest? You know, if I need to take a break, who's with me on taking a break? Why am I putting pink eyeshadow on? Ugh. Ew. <laughs> 
y'all look at this i feel crazy i'm already ashy hey yeah might as well take it in huh speaking of boys and traveling my favorite place to visit is new york like i want to live in new york that's another one of my things where i'm like i'm all over the place when i finish school I want to move to another state for like a year. Just have a time to relax. I still want to make my coin, but I got to figure out how without clocking in, doing a nine to five. But I love New York and I love the people from New York, y'all. Queen going to be mad at me because Queen is my friend. Queen Naja. But I got a crush on Clarence. Like, I feel like a little kid, y'all. I have a real crush on this man. But it ain't even him. It's the New York swag. I love New York guys. Like, I love them. Nothing like them. Nothing like them. My husband gonna be from New York, y'all. But, yeah, my new boo gonna be from New York. So, um, what they be saying? Son. Nah, you can't call your boyfriend son. <laughs> what what y'all call y'all? Um, y'all boyfriends in New York. My shorty. My guy. My mans, when my man see this video and he from New York, call me boo. Cause I'm ready. I'll be out there all the time. I'm coming for you. I'm looking. <laughs> Period, boo. All right, guys, I'm back. So, uh, I can't stop burping. I'm back. I put on um my lashes real crookedly. Um and my phone started ringing, so I had to leave y'all for a second. But I'm back. Back and I'm better. Oh. Speaking. Okay, cuz what I'm doing is I'm all over the place with this talk. And I'm not one to speak on things before they happen because sometimes they don't happen. But I'm real big on speaking things into existence because I like to manifest good things and stuff coming in my life. But this is the new thing I'm manifesting, y'all. I plan on being rich before this year over, so I got four months, August, September, October, November, five months to get rich. So me and my homegirl, we want to be... Y'all gonna be crazy, but we want to be rappers. Like, I found a studio. I don't know what to say sometimes, so I found a writer. I got some beats. All I gotta do is find that confidence to get up in the studio and rap in front of some strangers. We finna make a YouTube channel. Y'all might see us having some songs on them, but why I look like that? I just almost went blind. Look at my eyes. They're so red. Oh, God. Yeah, my eyes get so red at nighttime. I be so, I be tired from all that life shenanigans. Sad note. You know, I've been wanting this headband I got on for the longest. Okay. I'm talking about the longest. I see everybody on Instagram with these. and Got the little rhinestones and whatnot. Now I get it. These are some big dumb old headbands. Like, I don't think I'm going to ever really wear this. Why well, I look so bald? I got to glue in and I'm looking real bald over here. Let me be on this side. But yeah, I don't feel like I like these headbands on me. Let me set my face so this could look like something. So I could come back from the dead, okay? Put a little highlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. My lips look crazy. Okay, and now we're going to put on some lip stuck. We're going to put on a lip liner. So we're gonna buff that in with our lips. And I think that, I'm just gonna put on some little gloss. I don't really want no color. So 
Sorry if I keep looking over y'all. My mirror behind me, obviously. And I can't see myself. Oh yeah, here we go. The finished look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all see me? So, if y'all got anything y'all want to get off y'all man, or we can make this like a weekly thing where it's like an open discussion. Y'all leave y'all thoughts and feelings, the comments, concerns, anything, advice in the comment section below. I respond to a lot of stuff. And if I don't respond, I'm going to make a video about it. And you may be featured in my next video of me responding and reacting to you guys' posts. And um, I'm going to flood iron my hair so I can look more presentable. And I'll be back. One second. This is it. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Quite frankly, I'm not going nowhere. It's Tuesday. Today, Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Sorry, I'm looking at my clock and it's about Wednesday, May 8th. It's not 10 or 6 a.m. My phone tripping. Oh no. 5, 8, 5. It's August 5th, 10 a.m. But it's really August 4th, 10 p.m. I need to fix that. But yeah. And this eyelash I need to fix. Like I was saying before, leave y'all comments, thoughts, questions, remarks, answers, advice, anything you want to talk about. I'm a free open book. Leave it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because like my man Clarence say, if you ain't subscribed, you're petty. You watched all this and now you're petty. Like that's, that's real petty. Just subscribe. Like my video. Watch it. Share it. Post it. Talk to me because your girl is bored. Okay. I'm going to talk back. I got a lot to say. And we're out. I need my nails done, but we're out. This is my favorite song. But she was like, get that bread, get that head, and leave. Peace out.